This short film will demonstrate how to make your very friend molded earplugs. Watch it through once before you make the earplugs so you know what you will need to do. You will then need to watch it through again twice, once for each earplug. Most of it is filmed in real time but you may need to pause it occasionally. Feel free to stop and rewind as often as you need to in order to make sure you understand the process. Check your ears are clean before you begin. You will need the following. A very firm earplug kit containing four thermoplastic rods, a piece of black cord, a letter Allen's from written instructions, a cup or mug half filled with freshly boiled water, a bowl half filled with cold water, a teaspoon, a pair of scissors and a clean dry tea towel. First of all we are going to adjust the length of the cord so it's the right size for you. You don't need to do this if you're going to trim the cord to make short handles. Take the cord and pass it behind your neck, holding onto the ends in each hand. The cord should be long enough to touch your temples on both sides of your head. If it's too long then you can trim it to the right length. Take the cord and tie a knot about one and a half centimeters from the end. You will find a ruler on your instruction sheet. Pull the knot as tight as you can, then tie another knot on top of the first one, again pulling it very tight. Repeat the same with the other end. Now we will make the earplugs. Put two of the thermoplastic rods into the hot water and stir it for about 15 seconds until the plastic goes soft. Remove it from the cup and then quickly dry it on the tea towel. Next, firmly press the plastic together and fold it in on itself two or three times and place it back in the hot water. Don't worry, the plastic won't burn you, but do be careful with the hot water because it could. Stir the plastic in the water for another 15 seconds and again remove it from the cup and dry it quickly on the tea towel. Fold the plastic in on itself four or five times, press it together and place it back in the hot water. Stir for another 15 seconds. Remove it from the water and dry it again on the tea towel. This is what the piece should look like. It's about the size of a 1p piece, about 2 cm across. There is a ruler marked on your instructions. Take one of the knots in the end of the cord and press it into the thermoplastic disc, then wrap the plastic around it. Make sure that the whole of the knot and the end of the string are enclosed within the plastic. Roll the plastic into a tape of sausage shape, the end of which should be rounded and slightly smaller than the end of your little finger. Be aware that the plastic will harden as it cools, but that you can soften it in the hot water as many times as you need to. Take the letter L and press it firmly into the end of your earplug so that it looks like this. Now push the plastic into your left ear with your left hand, then press it in further with the flat of your thumb, about as hard as you would if you were popping bubble wrap. Maintain the pressure for about 5 seconds to allow the plastic to mould to your ear, then wait for 3 minutes before removing the earplug. It's best to avoid talking whilst the thermoplastic is in your ear, or removing the earplug early, otherwise it may become distorted. If you feel any discomfort, then stop and remove the plastic immediately. This is how it should look. Place the earplug in cold water before repeating the same on the other side. Leave it there for 2 or 3 minutes, stirring it occasionally. You may be able to remove the letter L from the earplug to leave an impression, but don't worry if you can't. 
Now return to the beginning of the film and repeat the same in your right ear, except this time omit the letter L and place the plastic in your ear with your right hand. This is how they should then look. You can leave your earplugs connected by the cord or you can cut it to make handles. The website describes the advantages of the two versions. If you decide to cut the string then use the ruler printed on your instructions to measure one centimetre along and then cut it with some sharp scissors. Repeat this on both sides. Enjoy your Barry Phone earplugs. If you like them please tell your friends, if you don't then please tell us.